Hallo, hallo, Mike Test. Hello everyone, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is part 2 of NSEPI library that we are using to extract Indian stock market data directly from NEC website and yes definitely this video will cover um, uh, information about options and futures data of, in, uh, of all Indian stock market uh, including index. If you remember this code that is in front of you is the code that we made in our last video and we saw how to uh, install this library by referring to the <coughs> documentation over here I'm sorry and uh, our, like uh, in, in, the, in the entire video we saw how to extract uh, pricing information of stocks index things like VIX for example which refers to the volatility of Indian market uh, things like in, uh, P ratio of any particular index like nifty 50 uh, and uh, the forex data information we saw how to extract the bow copy for free uh, which also has IC numbers in the end things basic things like holidays list and the quote information of the real-time stock market data of uh, any particular stock like Infosys in this case uh, in this video we are going to uh, what we are going to do is we are going to actually uh, extract options and futures data information of uh, information of any particular stock so uh, yeah let's start with the futures for stock futures let me just write stock futures is equal to NSE now what we'll do is we'll still refer to the get history and then uh, what I need to provide here is symbol is say in this case SBIN in our last video we used Infosys let's use uh, SBI stock uh, here start date and end date is exactly the same as that we use in the last video is it an index no false what else now it asks for futures which is a boolean so what I'll do is I'll just write futures is equal to true now because futures is equal to true I need to provide expiry date as well and uh, um, the, uh, the expiry date for most of the futures and options is Thursday uh, right of any particular month last Thursday of any particular month in this case is 29th of September so if I run this particular cell you'll see the futures information of SBI as of 29th of September sorry as of this particular date range and the expiry is as uh, is 29th of September 2022 right you'll see open high low close last uh, number of contracts turnover open interest which is a very important parameter for uh, in the futures market not only futures but also in the options market which actually gives uh, information about the the contracts that are still yet to be executed right in the market it actually gives us an uh, an information about how active the market is and the change in open interest it is also very important you see in the first two days it was positive and then it went to negative and so on right you can do your own uh, analysis over here and then the underlying price is this much now uh, you can actually get uh, the entire data for any particular index as well you guys would know this thing that in India index futures and options uh, uh, volume is much more than stocks options and futures and uh, actually the difference is significant so I'll just uh, what I'll do here in order to get the uh, index information let me just change this SBI into nifty for example start date and end date, is, uh, end date is exactly the same this index would be true in this case futures is true and expiry date is exactly the same and if I run this particular cell you'll see all this information for nifty as well in front of you open high low close open interest uh, change in open interest etc right again you can extract as many rows as possible here by providing a different date here for example now the next uh, very important uh, thing that we can extract here for free is getting a futures chain information all the uh, upcoming uh, maturity date of all the futures contract that are available for any particular <coughs> stock or index right for this what I can do is future chain table is equal to NSC dot now this is something that we get on a live basis so nsc.live which is a real time basis and then just write get future chain table right if you hover over it you can see you just need to provide symbol here symbol is equal to sbin if you uh, if we run this particular cell <coughs> you'll see 27th of october is the next uh, futures uh, expiry date 24th of november and then 29th of december 2022 right and what are the prices open high low close is available volume turnover and underlying value is also available. this would be exactly the same because this is the, under, uh, the current value of the underlying which is uh, sbi stock right in this case so yeah this is something that you can refer to understand the the bullishness or the bearishness in the market right in this case for example the the previous close is actually going up so the market is actually predicting it's not actually going up because the the current price is actually 532 and uh, this one is uh, 
520 so it's going down and then after that it's actually it's it's flat only so the market is not ready to anything in this case so yeah this is something that uh, you can refer for your an analysis as well now uh, if you go up for example this expiry date is something <clears throat> that uh, is really important to know uh, because if you change this date to any other then it this entire data frame will be empty right so we should know what are uh, the expiry dates uh, that are actually available in the market right now so i actually knew personally that the last thursdays of any particular month is mostly the expiry date of futures and options contract but if someone doesn't know then this is a way to extract all the possible expiry dates here as well so i'll just write expiry dates is equal to nse dot derivatives dot get expiry dates and then just provide year and month so i'm just actually i just want expiry dates of september 2022 right if i run this particular cell you'll you'll get the entire uh, uh, all the expiry dates that are available and i as i mentioned you 29th of september is one of them there are other expiry dates as well now there is a possibility that any particular expiry date is not an expiry date of say sbi in this case right so what like these are all available expiry dates for all uh, different types of index indices or uh, stocks right so we'll have to do some permutation combination here in order to extract the exact expiry date of this particular of that particular stock or index now let's come to options data so for options data what i've done here is a stock option is equal to n as uh, nsc dot get history sbi n which is uh, the ticker of sbi <coughs> start date is this this one and date is exactly the same as that we use uh, in the past is it an index no false then option type is equal to ca which is call european i'm extracting information of European call option. You can actually write PE here as well, which will be put European, right? Whenever we refer to options, mostly we refer to the European options. Uh, there are other types of options as well, uh, like American options, uh, um, Asian options, and there are many more. But in India, mostly uh, it's uh, the, the options that we refer is uh, the European option. And in this case, C is referred to the call European, right? Strike price is 500 in this case uh, for SBI and the uh, expiry date here is exactly the same which is 29th of September 2022. If I run this particular cell then in this case you'll see options data information of SBI uh, over here uh, and again things like <clears throat> open high low close last price uh, open interest change in open interest etc premium turnover turnover all this information uh, is available over here for the call option right if you want to get the put option i just change it to pe and you'll get uh, all the information for put european option here in this case right in order to get index in uh, options information what i've done here is again exactly the same i have provided nifty as an index here start date end date is exactly exactly the same index is equal to true in this case options is ce call option strike price is 17000 <coughs> for nifty it's trading uh, somewhere around 17000 right now expiry date is again 29th of uh, uh, september 2022 and if you run this particular cell you'll get information the 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 call european european call information for uh, nifty and this high low uh, close etc all this uh, is basically uh, the premium that anyone uh, is paying for this particular options we all know that options trading is very very uh, risky and uh, i would recommend you guys to have a proper research before doing any sort of options trading because in this case only you can see it was trading at around 1000 right 1100 uh, on 17th of uh, uh, september and then in the end it was zero right so this is something that you guys should understand uh, before doing any sort of trading in options market so yeah this is it for today guys um, and this is the entire uh, overview of nsc pi if you're still watching this video just click a like on this video also uh, subscribe to my youtube channel this particular code will be saved on my google drive and i share my google drive access to all my uh, subscribers if you're new to my youtube channel then uh, just click on the subscribe button and click on the access to my google drive button follow some basic steps over uh, over there click on that uh, uh, google form link over there just give some basic information i'll be using this particular email address to, uh, to provide a free, ac free access of my google drive and this code will be saved in my google drive not only this one there are many more codes like my trading bot for example and many uh, other codes are saved on that uh, google drive that you can refer for your personal uses in future i'll make videos on uh, indian stock uh, uh, real-time pricing information and indian stocks real-time trading bot 
सो इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस दैम आउट दैन स्टे ट्यून टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल